one of the moments that I was really surprised how, quote unquote, let's say popular the work was, was a time where we did a project, a year long project with an artist, Martin Creed. Mm -hmm. And he had one work that I figured would be popular. And that is uh, a work called Half the Air in the Given Space. So again, it's like a classic conceptual work. Mm -hmm. Measure out half the air in the room. How do you do that? His solution was balloons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blow up balloons at a certain scale and fill up half the room. And there were all sorts of math formulas by which we did that. But then I decided, you know what? It has to be, it has to be taken offside. It can't exist within this museum space. So A, I was shocked because we found four people all over the city for partners who were willing to let me put balloons in their space. Mm -hmm. And some people were like, oh sure, it sounds great, like the Garfield Park Conservatory, mm -hmm. like it was important for me to have it on the west side. Um, and some people were like, um, we're gonna have to call a lot of people in the city, like the fire the department, the health department, right. the city arts department. And when all of those people said yes, not only was I shocked, but then we got to do it in the water tower, the historic water tower. We filled halfway up with balloons. And so on the outside, it looked like red stuff. It was amazing. Right, right, right. And then, you know, you put up one good sign, like our, our um, marketing director just like came up with one good hook. And next thing you know, there is a line around the park. Mm. You know, and um, on the one hand, there's this beautiful success with a bunch of numbers that I didn't anticipate. But when we did it on the north side at this kind of, you know, storefront space that the, the CTA, the, the transit authority owned, there was a kid who went every day. Wow. Every day. And he would walk through that and he would go back and get his cousins and his friends and da da da. And one day his mother was there and she said that. She's like, you know, he's been back every day. She goes, the kid is borderline autistic. He's on the Asperger spectrum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But he found the balloons really comforting. Mm -hmm. But not only did he personally find it comforting, he wanted to share it. So that got him communicating more with people. Right. And then to top all that off, he understood it as art. This is a 12 year old kid in Uptown, mm -hmm. right? Who doesn't have the broadest kind of arts education, but he could understand how sculptural experience can be a bodily thing and how mm. there's a kind of mathematic that moves into that and how this isn't just, you know, um, a visual thing, but art can be an experiential thing. Mm -hmm. And his mother said he got home and, and he started drawing every day. So for him, he was like my ideal subject because he didn't question, <laughs> like, why is this art? He was like, right. I get it, right? 12 years old in Up Down. Those are like the successes I think I look for, mm. like a real, a real kind of critical understanding mm -hmm. of the work and it may not be from the person that you expect it to come from.